Sinimalaya Presidential Union, Sinimalaya Monitoring and Competition Chair, Director Joey Reyes, Dan Morales, Executive Director, three of FDCP, CCD Board of Trustees and Officials, our competing filmmakers, actors, and all the people working behind the camera, friends, ladies and gentlemen, and good afternoon. As you all know, the CCP main building has been the home of Cinemalaya in the past 19 years, has been undergoing renovations. So we were planning our, our artistic program for 2023, one of our challenges was finding new homes for our shows, concerts, and festivals, especially one as large and wide reaching as Cinemalaya. We wanted to retain the unique community spirit of Cinemalaya. We hope to find a venue that will give a similar creative vibe as if as we were holding it at the CCP main building. We had a few considerations, but the Philippine International Convention Center became our choice. If we, took, if we look at the history of the Convention Center, having hosted the Manila International Film Festival in the 1980s, the PICC is quite conducive for film screenings. And here we are, kicking off the country's largest independent film festival, the Press Conference. Festival director Chris Liado will talk more about the venue, the different components, and what we can expect in Cinemalaya this year. For the past 19 years, the Cinemalaya has been the home for a new breed of Filipino filmmakers, where they can explore our love for filmmaking, express our thoughts, their thoughts, and create self expressions, and become instruments to reflect our social truth. With a new batch of full length and short films competing for the coveted Balanghai trophies, the Cinema Laya continues to foster independent filmmaking in the country and voice Philippine cinema on an international scale. The film festival secures a space for independent filmmakers to tell their stories and share their perspectives on the issues that shape our time while capturing the audience's imagination. All of these are made possible by the enthusiasm and support of both creators and audiences who are dedicated to Filipino cinema and its identity as the center of creativity and free artistic expression. We hope to see you all at the cinema on August 4 to 13 at PICC. Buhay! Ang Malayan Pelikulang Pilipino. Thank you, Ma Marchi. Before we proceed, may we present to you the omnibus trailers of the Cinema Malayan Shorts and Full Length Film Incorporated, Direct Loris Guillen. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, and the finalists for this year. Um, we welcome you once again, and it's a great, great pleasure to see you once again here for the yearly press con to announce our newest edition, the 19th Cinemalaya Philippine Independent Film Festival, which starts next month on Friday, August 4th, 2024. Before I begin, let me express City Malaya Foundation's deepest thanks to our partner, the Cultural Center of the Philippines, for its long-standing support by way of organizing, funding, and holding the yearly film festival. We also wish to thank the Film Development Council of the Philippines for their renewed and robust partnership by way of funding the 10 full-length feature films Finalists, as well as the 10 shorts whose films will be competing at the festival. The support of both the CCP and the FDCP 
is an excellent example of how the government and the private sector can cooperate and collaborate on a private initiative that benefits all Filipinos by way of defining his cultural identity and contributing to cultural growth. We want to support new filmmakers, produce their films with artistic integrity. We want these films to be seen because the communication process is not complete until the audience sees their films and they in turn communicate their feedback. That is the way that the communication process is completed. The filmmaker, the filmmaker works in order to serve, to illuminate the audience, the culture. I think uh, uh, um, Chris is going to explain further this, uh, the new theme for this year. So, the 19th batch of full filmmakers who are recipients of seed grant from the Cultural Center of the Philippines also received, for the first time, a counterpart amount of 1 million each as additional seed grant from the Film Development Council of the Philippines. In addition, the MDCP has also awarded 100,000 each to the 10 shorts in competition. <laughs> Aside from being the first recipients of the grant from MCCP, there are other firsts for this batch. First, the semi finalists underwent the first film lab designed by City Malaya, a training project. Um, okay, uh, the first film lab of City Malaya a training project designed by the City Malaya Film Institute to better prepare the first time feature filmmakers in all aspects of filmmakers, filmmaking. Second, the films were hatched during the pandemic from writing, submission, selection, and reproduction. The conception and development of these projects took place during this period of uncertainty. In fact, the entire competition process was conducted through video conferencing, including the, including the film lab. And so we are curious to see the effects and the influence of the pandemic on their films. So that is what we look forward to in the 90th edition of Cinema Lion. Apart, of course, from the film viewings, exhibits, conferences, talk back to the filmmakers and the coffee shop discussions that we enjoy so much. So let's see each other at the PICC here for the 19th Cinema Laya Philippine Independent Film Festival. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Please. To proceed, may we present to you the individual trailers of this year's